Oh, I'm out of breath now. <laughs> Oh gosh, hi guys, it's Art Torno, how's everyone doing? Today I'm reviewing Black Phoenix Alchemy Labs Wembley. And uh, not just the place in North West London, where I'm nearly from, it's close by, but the actual real person that is Wembley Fraggle. Oh, the Fraggles were such a massive part of my childhood. It's my ultimate childhood program. And I see so much of myself in Wembley. That's why I'm really excited about this review. He is the Fraggle that is a little bit of a scaredy cat, is really bad at making decisions, a bit panicky, very indecisive, but oh so cute. So I've reviewed another one of their Fraggle fragrances before and it was Moki. That one was an ethereal violet, almost washing laundry type fragrance. But Wembley is the really fun, cute character, the bright green one. Hopefully I can get a picture of him here. If not, never mind. Let me read out to you what it says on their site about Wembley. So, it says, To Wemble is a, is a fragglish word that means, roughly, to be so unable to make up one's mind that it's ridiculous. Wembley is, is indecision personified. Wembley has an uncanny ability to find merit on both sides of any issue. Mm -hmm. This talent occasionally casts him in the role of peacemaker. He's just so adorable. I love him so much. <laughs> um, so, let me tell you what's in the fragrance. So it says, innocently indecisive, white musk, banana, orange blossom, honey, pineapple, and mint. Oh, Wembley, I love you. You're the cutest thing ever. So let me put it on. This has actually changed. I got my imp um, probably about five years ago, maybe. And um, Black Phoenix Alchemy Love fragrances do age and they do change with time. And I remember when I first got this fragrance, it was very heavy on the banana, which makes sense because Wembley has little banana things on his shirt, I think. It's just, it's just the cutest thing. It's just so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> it opened quite strongly with banana, but the main feeling of this fragrance is one of fun. This is not a serious fragrance. The fraggles are not serious people, or serious fraggles, or whatever their race is. I don't know, I don't care, I just love them. But Wembley is the cutest. He's always running around, he has the cutest voice. And um, it opened at the time with a lot of banana. I'm so excited I can't even get my words out. <laughs> yes, it was fun. It was a fun, sweet, banana-ish, almost kind of flirty fragrance. But now it's changed, but it still has a lot of the original, what was when I first got it, going on. So when this opens, it's almost like a banana syrup. So it's really fruity in the opening. I don't really get any kind of mintiness from it, but it's like a tropical banana syrup and really fun, fruity fragrance. It kind of smells like medicine you'd give a child, um, but not in a nasty way, of course, in a really fun, let's sweeten this thing up, so it's kind of, you can just eat it. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this one. <laughs> so it's really fruity, really syrupy, like bananas in syrup, and bananas isn't something that you find all the time in fragrances, which is why I think it's fun. You don't tend to walk around smelling like banana. I've only seen banana in things like, um, moisturiser or maybe shower gels and things like that. It's quite rare in fragrances I think because you can't really smush a banana and put it in a fragrance. I should try that. But what's also really apparent in this is the honey. So it's almost like a honeyed tropical banana and it's really fun. I can't describe that enough. I can't say that enough. It's it's a little bit sharp in the opening, but really it's about a kind of sharp banana fragrance at first, which very quickly turns to honey. And the honey in this isn't on the floral side, it's a little bit gloopy, and it feels like it has vanilla in it, even though it doesn't. But the, the honey in this, and whatever else is going on that makes it smell like this, turns to almost fuzzy and a little bit powdery like so if you can imagine a, a very vanillic powdery almost fizzy fuzzy honey fragrance and the reason i say fuzzy is because that's the kind of texture you get from it when it's dry it's dry here and also fraggles are fuzzy <laughs> they have fuzzy faces they're made out of sponge or something i don't want to think about what they're made out of i don't want to think i don't want to ruin the magic no don't ruin the magic for me side note i have the entire collection on dvd and I'm, re I'm so scared to watch the making of, because I don't want to ruin the magic. No, I can't do that. See, 
indecisive scaredy cat. Just like Wembley. I feel like this fragrance, although it's, you know, an adult fragrance, I feel like this would be such a cute fragrance to get for a kid. I can imagine kids wearing this at birthday parties. Um, it's not, you know, super gourmand or anything like that. It's on the fruity honey side as opposed to being a cupcake or anything like that. And it's just fun. I don't know. Fraggles are fun. They're crazy. They're Jim Henson. They're Muppets, essentially, aren't they? No. How could I say that? No, they are Fraggles. Different race. Different species. But you know what I mean. And um, that's pretty much all I can say. It's quite a simple one. <clears throat> it doesn't, it's not too overly complicated and I don't think it's supposed to be. It's kind of can't decide whether it's gourmand or fruity. Why can't it just be both? Wembley would be both. Then again, he wouldn't be able to decide. But I love it as just a break from the seriousness, a break from the norm. This is Black Phoenix showing us how they can do something super fun super easy and you know with a bit of nostalgia it's got a childlike feeling to it and that's always fun to wear in a fragrance it's totally different from Moki anyway I have a few of the others as well so I might um I might review those too mm. it's a nice fun honey it's funny honey anyway I'm out from my logo down there to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon for another review goodbye <laughs>